Okay, let's make a custom tool to fix door gap problems. This is the door gap. A lot of times you'll have a door where it comes this way and it starts rubbing against the jam. I've got a tool I can make and show you how to make that will fix that problem. Follow me. We'll go outside and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, what we got here is we're going to make this to fix that door gap problem. Follow me along. I'll have her zoom in here. We're going to cut this out bigger. Okay, what we want to do is we want to put this in here. Take this right here and draw a line and a line on the other side to match it. Then we're going to round this over here and here. So it looks like that. All right. Forgot to twitch the drill. All righty. So we got that. Take your round file. File off those corners so they don't scratch stuff. Make sure it's rounded all the way because we don't want to cut your fingers. All right. All righty. So I've hacksawed this off with the power saw, power saw there, and then we want to take and we want to file this nice and flush so there's no hard edges. And I'll do more than this, but I'll do it off camera. And then you just file these nice and clean, okay? Take the burrs off. Alrighty, burr it off this way. Anyways, you got the idea. I'll, I'll spend some time making this really pretty. And, uh... Okay, so we got this all filed down. The next thing you want to do, grab some electrical tape or your favorite Gorilla Tape or duct tape or whatever you got. And wrap around this handle like crazy. Oh, that's really stuck. There we go. And I like getting her back about here. Then you just wrap a million times. Maybe a million and a half times to make it pretty. Alrighty. You got the idea. Looks like a shank, but we're not in prison. We're going to use this for doors. Anyways, next thing you want to do is you want to grab a nail. I like a three inch nail, get a large top, and we're going to be using that to knock the bottoms of these out and take the pin out. You want to take and hacksaw it off, okay. Okay, so we hacksawed this off, so we got two items. This is all we need to fix our gap in our door. Let's go fix the gap. Okay, the key is remember this profile right here. It's the same shape as that hinge. So come on in closer and see how I'm fitting it over the top. I'm coming to the first knuckle, knuckle and then I'm pushing over. Then you go to the second knuckle and you start to push over, but but you put the pin in and make sure you're pushing the pin in as you're aligning. And then when it's just right, push the pin all the way back in and check your door. Either way. Okay, we've made our great little tool for fixing hinges and the gaps in the doors. As you notice, we're in here and I got a great example. You can see how tight it is here against the jam and the header. And as you come down, it gets wider. 
as it goes down to the bottom. We're going to fix that. So a lot of times what you can do, you can open up the door, you can take out a couple of the short screws, and you can put in some three inch long screws, and it'll suck it over, and that usually fixes it. You know what, sometimes you can't, won't fix it. So the next trick is fixing the hinge with our handy dandy little tool. So I'll show you how we do that. So first you temp the hinge pin out, take that out, alrighty. Save our pin. Okay, grab our handy dandy tool. Slip it over the door here. There we go. We're going to go ahead and start in the bottom one here. Okay, and we're going to bend it back towards the wall. There we go. And we're going to come up to this one here. Sometimes they're a little tough because we'll come from the top. There we go. Whoop, passed it. Got it. Let's bend her back. Maybe a little bit more right there. Okay. Wow, it came right off when it's aligned. It's amazing. Let's put our hinge pin in. Wow, went in slick. All right, let's come over to the door. Can you see the gap? The door even shuts better. Now you notice our gap. All the way down, nice and even, a lot better. Hey, make yourself a handy dandy hinge fixer. Remember, a lot of times, you adjust the first hinge, put the hinge pin in, line it up, drop it down, and it'll help you line up the second one when you adjust it. Hope that helped you guys. Hope you enjoy my tips. If you don't mind, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And I appreciate comments, they always help. And you know what helps better than anything? Subscribing to us and sharing our videos with other people. Hey, thanks. We'll see you next time.